is that what it ended up right there? Is that a, is that a typo? What what's the statistic at the bottom on there? Is that right? Twenty. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> when we start with open thoughts again. Well, it's. Uh, any other thought would be um, <laughs> a little bit lesser than Devin Smeltzer. Um, what what a great performance! Uh, you saw it. You were here. I saw it. Um, Devin threw it, and it was it was phenomenal. Um, it's hard to place wor words on that. And I've been out here uh, to Grand Junction eleven or twelve years, and um, certainly just the best that I've seen in the time that I've been here. And um, not only that, he's got outstanding character. He's got a big heart. He's one of the best teammates you'll ever, ever have. He's a leader. He's what San Jack is all about. Um, he's a giver. He makes others around him better. And we've always strived for that at San Jack. That's one of our mottos. If you can make the next guy better, then that's then we're going to win. And Devin Smeltzer is that kind of guy. Not only that, boy, he's got good stuff. Yeah, so my hat, hat's off to Devin, like I said, and, you know, he still has his spikes on under, under the table here, so maybe he wants to throw some more. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just really proud of, proud of this young man. Coach, in the first game when you had that weird stat line, I mean, today was the first time it felt like a pitcher really got your defense to the road. I mean, did it feel like the entire team was just cruising right through this game because of this pitching performance? Well, that, that's true. You know, we kind of played on our heels early in, in every other game except for this. And, you know, we came up uh, out of the shoot and actually uh, was it the, the third inning we ended up, or second inning, we, we ended up putting a lead on the board, which hasn't happened yet. So um, we have a lot of confidence in Devin. We got a lot of confidence in everybody that's out there. And I think we're finally, uh, you know, the loss last night was, was difficult. Um, and you could take it any other way. Uh, I don't think we did anything different. I don't think we prepared different. I think we just saw what was out there. We identified what we needed to do, and we came out with a different approach today on a very good Chattahoochee team. You know, obviously ranked number one for a reason. Devin, did you know how many strikeouts you had? Um, around the fourth or fifth inning, I started. I knew I had a lot because I'd struck out the side a couple times. And then, I mean, but other than that, I was just. I was talking to my roommates earlier this morning, and I was I said I'm going to be efficient today and not strike too many guys out and just try getting some ground balls. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so much for that plan. It huh? is what it is, but uh, you know, I, my approach is always get ahead early, try getting ground balls, and take the strikeouts when they present themselves. And I got ahead a lot today, and that's what happened. Uh, it feels great. Um, it's been a fun year. It was a good way to go out. Uh, just playing for this team has been a blast. Uh, coach, you're sitting your fifth title as a new coach here. It's safe to say you're not going to do it any bit differently in terms of preparation or anything like that. No, uh, you know, personally, I, I've, I've learned some things. Uh, I've learned patience. Uh, I've learned to uh, to calm myself at times <laughs> you know I still coach what I coach and I you know I still react that way and we make the changes that we make um, but you know the players are what make the team you know coaches we guide them throughout the course of the year we make adjustments in practice and practice and when it comes game time then it's a matter of just making situational decisions uh, but it's ultimately up to them to play and and uh, they're, they're a very good team they're very very talented you know from you know, all the way, top to bottom. I thought it was a great gesture that we were able to get everybody off the bench in this game to, to grab an opportunity to, to perform and get in a game when sometimes you walk away from here without being able to do that at times. So we, we were able to get every hitter in, which is nice. Uh, embarrassing question. We don't even know that team's winning. Brandon Montgomery. Okay, thanks. Uh, <laughs> can you just talk about uh, playing in a game like tonight and what was the feeling going in? Yesterday we had the same like momentum, like we're still pumped up and everything going into the game. Just not the outcome we wanted. And last night was just real hard on us. Even eating dinner it was just like real quiet. This morning, some people were down, but when we got to the field, I think everybody finally focused up, got their head on straight, and just went out there and dominated.
does that kind of help the basket flow in a little bit with being on top? I think it does. Uh, just because we know Devin Spelzer out there is not going to give up any runs. And as long as we hit and score runs, he's always going to uh, pitch his heart out and not let any run score. Yeah, that's a good question. Certainly, there there always is, um, and you know, throughout the course of the year, and Devin will tell you this. Even game one here, he says, "One more, one more." He always said, "I said, no, give me a hug. That that's it. We're gonna go to the pen." Oh, he'll grunt, and then he'll come. Then he'll come back. At, you know, a little a little later. And it's it's nothing that only showing the character of how uh, that he's very strong willed and and wanting to compete and wanting to keep going and. Uh, Fortunately, this is the first time, and Devin will tell you, even the other night I pulled him, but this is the first time I, I said, okay, it's your ball, you finish it. And, um, Jamal, well, he, he, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One was a no-hitter, I Yeah, yeah, see. You know, you, you, you have to look at pitchers and what they are, what their capability is. You have to look at what he's done over the course of the year. His training is second to none. Um, he, 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 there's not a lot of overthrowing, even with the quality of stuff that he has. He paces himself very well. There's not a lot of head jerk, not a lot of muscle up. And, and so you look at that as well as his training and what he's done. And then you, you, you got to make a call. And that's one thing we do. We, we never want to rush pitchers out there for too, too long. We don't like to do that. I've never had. Um, years ago, Stump wanted to go after a day's rest a, a few years ago. And I said, no, we can't go to you. Yeah, we ended up losing. But, uh, um, you know, this this time, you know, uh, I, I believe in him. I've grown to know Devin Smeltzer as a person and at his work ethic and and what he does on the mound. And, and this was his night. He did great. Um, last quick question. Are you committed anywhere for next year or are you going into the draft with your plan? Um, I mean, what happens, happens. But um, the plan is to go to Texas Tech in the fall. Well, that's what we talked about tonight. We wanted we wanted that that bottom half, that bottom third. Actually, we say, hey, you guys got to step it up. This is your game. You know, you got to get on on base and do some things. And and you know, there were some times there where we can get some quick innings, and and so we wanted to avoid that and keep them calm and understand that those guys need to to set the stage for the you know two, three, four guys that are coming up in the lineup, and um, they, they did a much better job of it. Well, once again, you know, well coached, a lot of talent. Um, you know, they had a day off, a rest. You know, they 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 fought through adversity, coming through the loser bracket. Um, you know, we, we won't underestimate them. We're going to go after them with everything we have and and compete till the final out, which is will be a full nine inning game regardless. So we're going to approach it that way and and you know be in for the long haul.